Hi, this is Vanessa from Little Gold Pixel. I wanted to share with you today a simple trick that I've learned that has made my life so much easier in Adobe, and maybe it'll make your life easier too. So for instance, we're in Illustrator right now, and if I'm ever trying to find a font, I usually have to go over here and like scroll through a million fonts, looking for something that is just perfect. When I know which ones are my favorites, and I know which ones I'm looking for based on the style of them, like I want a script font here, or I want a sans serif kind of art deco font here, but I don't have them in an easy enough way to find them. So what I've done is if you have Creative Cloud, and this is awesome because it works over Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, and you don't have to rely on each individual program's capacity for character styles, etc. You can create your own Creative Cloud library. Um, first, let's do that. Go up here and create new library. And for this one, I've, I've just gathered a whole bunch of my favorite line script fonts. And I'm going to just call this line scripts. And you just click on one at a time, add it down here, and see how I have all the rest of them um, unchecked. I just want the character style. I think that's the simplest thing to do. So then I'll add it. And it's right there. The only other step that you want to make is to change the, t the name of it because if you just drag and drop them all in there, they're going to have the same name and then they won't populate correctly. So what I do is just rename this, oops, or whatever it was before, what is it, Nick Ainley. So you just go in and rename this like that, and then you can add another one. And this one is Buffalo Script. So I'll rename that one. And to see it in action, let's just open up a new file. And just touch your text tool and bring in a really random script here and then go over touch on it and all of a sudden you have your new fonts easy and then you can toggle in between making it so much easier to decide which font you want to use and which project you're working on this works in illustrator and photoshop and indesign basically anywhere you can get your library hope this helps you as it helped me